The baby's fine. It's healthy girl, uh, eight and a half pounds or eight pounds, six ounces. Uh, it's in the custody of DSS now. A story of survival that could have easily ended in tragedy. Had two teenage boys not found a newborn girl left for dead in a dumpster near Socasty on Thursday. All of this could have been prevented, though, had the mother legally abandoned her baby through South Carolina's safe haven law, also known as Daniel's Law. We welcome uh, these mothers who may have found themselves in a in a situation where they don't want or can't care for the child, we will be happy to assist with uh, getting the baby in the right place. In addition to any law enforcement agency, fire station, or EMS provider, under South Carolina's safe haven law, anyone can drop off a baby up to 30 days old at any worship center in the state. This one just happens to be less than five miles from where the baby was found in a dumpster on Thursday. This map shows the numerous locations, including hospitals and outpatient facilities, where the mother of the baby left for dead Thursday could have left her child. Daniel's law provides automatic immunity to anyone who safely places a newborn with someone at one of these authorized manned safe havens. We're here if you need us. Uh, we're always ready to, to assist and help in any way possible. And we would prefer that uh, you bring it to us instead of leaving it beside the road or somewhere where the child can't be cared for. The Department of Social Services released a statement following the discovery of the baby girl saying the incident did not meet the requirements of Daniel's law. The agency has custody of the girl who is still being treated at Waccamaw Hospital in Merle's Inlet. The baby called hope by the family who found her will remain in the care of DSS until they can find her a loving home. In Horry County, Alex Heaton, WPDE News Channel 15.